Sorry, I just have to get into a different screen. And Okay, so I'm just selecting my school here. I don't know if you can. Yes, and this is great too, because this shows you how you would log into the VRC. Well, uh, we have our set up um, a little differently than some of the other school districts, um, because it used to be that you would go into the VRC and you'd pick a database and then it would ask you to log in. Um, we found with our students, it was just easier if they logged in first and then pick their databases. Uh, so we had BOCES set that up for us. And um, I'm in middle school. Uh, we do use the VRC a lot in library. Um, I've been talking to my ENL teachers and um, they have tended not to be using so much of this, you know, outside of school with the distant learn with distance learning. Um, but these are resources that they have all used within school. And um, there's specific ones that we do use because, you know, it's, it's like with anything, you use what you like more than others. Um, so I don't know if Mandy had looked at Britannica School because I know she looked at the Britannica Escolar. Um, yes, she looked at Britannica School. Um, she showed us the version the, in Spanish. Oh, okay, because um, you can also use the English version. And then um, you can select your different levels. So I'm um, middle school. And um, one thing that we study in seventh grade is the American Revolution. So just to, you know, this is going to give you um, a little different way of looking at it. So you have to select your article. And then um, you have different reading levels. So right now I'm in reading level two, you can go lower if you have those students that need more support, um, or you can also go higher. Uh, but then we have our translate tool is up here. Um, so they would click the world and then select their, their language. So um, I'm just gonna use Spanish because that's most of our students. So you can see it, it translates very quickly into that and then also if you kind of hover over um a part of it you'll see that you also get the english translation back so if you are um working with a student who's reading this in english and you kind of want to know what they are reading and you don't speak spanish um this is a nice little tool okay um now that's found in the biography section but it's also found in the encyclopedia section a lot of the databases um are found in multiple areas uh just kind of to uh you know for ease ease of use so i won't look at the uh, britannica escalar so those are all found in here um now world book did she look at world book Uh, no, not, no, no, not World Book. Okay, so in World Book, um, so we, we used to use this a lot. I tend to now use Britannica more, um, but this also has um, a couple of things. Now this one, the Banco de Contenidos a, a la Planeta, um, this is a database. This is brand new, so I don't even really like know how to use it. Plus, I don't speak or read Spanish. Um, but this, I do understand that this is a database and it has a lot of information in it. So, um, you know, for someone who, who does speak, you know, or read those, that language, um, you know, this would be a good resource. So you can see it's got a, um, an atlas. Uh, it's got different tools for you to work, um, all about the human body. Um, this one is an interesting one, the um, visual navigator, uh, because you could just like um, select one of their topics. 
So Da Vinci, and then it has related articles. So it's, it's kind of, a, you know, shoots you off in different directions. Um, it's kind of helpful when you're doing research, if you have a main topic, and then you want to um, maybe enhance or support what you're writing about. And then the other one that is in here is the, uh, the Spanish Encyclopedia. And then this is all in Spanish as well. Um, it's, I find it to be a slightly lower level. So um, it, it is actually, you know, pretty good support in middle school as well. Um, you know, if they're struggling with anything. So if you went to history and government, you know, you can, you can find different articles. Um, you can also do the, um, your search. Now, if I looked up American Revolution, I can sp uh, type it in English, um, but okay, yeah. Okay, so here we have the North American Revolution. And you can see that these are very short articles, but then they have um, related topics with them as well. And you can do your citations. So MLA, APA, Harvard, uh, we, we use MLA in, in school, in our school district. Um, and then, now these are a little harder, these uh, databases, the ABC Clio. Um, so this is more, um, we use this eighth grade. You have to do, you do have to select your um, school um, because uh, you do get credit with VOCES for using the databases. Um, you know, that's, that's why um, when you sign in, we get credit for those. So you can pick, here, this is more guided, so a teacher would have to actually, you know, walk your students right through your different topics. Um, but then you have a translate tool up here, and you select your language, and you can see it's limited to specific languages, and then it translates for you, your citations as well. Um, okay, so you looked at Botanica uh, culture grams is also if you're doing anything with uh, geography, um, you could start with the kids edition. This is a uh, interactive map. So let's say you're studying South America, maybe you're doing different countries, you're doing a, a background project. And then you can also um, just click the translate button here, and then select your language and it translates for you. Um, if you find that this information is too simplistic, you can also go back to um, the home button and select the world view. And it functions the same way, translate English to Spanish. But it has more information. Okay, so you have this nice sidebar um, as, as well for each category. Okay. Sandy, we had a question about um, the resource before Culturegrams, the world book. Yes. Um, does it have the same access in other languages like Malayalam or is it only limited to Spanish? Uh, world book is only Spanish. Um, I'm wondering though, actually, if I remember. So we use the student version. All right. Uh, let's see. Three more. Okay. 
Okay, so it looks as if there's a translate. If you go into the article, go to the cog, and then translate, and then select the language. Okay, now it has an ear here, so it should be able to uh, read it, select a paragraph in the text to listen. La Revolución Americana, okay. 1775-1783. Okay, so World Book Student has this ability then to um, translate. Um, as I said before, we don't use it as much, so um, you know we tend to use the Britannica more. Okay, and then Okay, and did you look at read it at all? Read it? No, we did not look at read it. Okay, so um, just a little bit about read it. It's um, a database. It's a little bit more, um, I won't say complicated, but again, you have to be guided through it first. So I'm just selecting uh, one category here, and I'm going to select US history again and Road to the American Revolution. So all of this part is in English. Uh, so then you have like a little abstract at the top um, and then you have your article. Now they do have their translate tool is, oh, I'm gonna lose it here. I just moved this. Okay, on the right side, under tools, it's the bottom tool, translate. And then on the left side, you go back to uh, your language here and click translate. They show you it's in process. And one thing that I do like about this, at the end of the article, and it's not for all articles, but they do have um, comprehension questions. So you could assign an article to a student and then ask them the, uh, the questions. And then I think there was, Okay, and basically everything else. Um, and did you look at the Gale Informate? Uh, we didn't look at that resource, and um, but I'm just looking to see here if we have any questions about the resources you've shared already. Okay, uh, since it's oh, uh, you're over time, right? And and that's fine because I know everyone. Um, it's great when everyone can get together, and and you're showing us some great resources.